I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Got to finish sanding this down and then put the boiled linseed oil on it. Start our dress collector. Then we go to the random orbital. That dust collector sure does make it a lot nicer. Now we get out the boiled linseed oil rag, squeeze it out just a little bit, and then we commence to put boiled linseed oil on everything we see. It's 
thin enough. It's a self-leveling finish. I don't have to worry about brush strokes because it's going to just settle right in. It absorbs into the wood. Fifty-fifty mix of boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. So it wets out really well. And this is just an old piece of sock. Now we come to the real reason why I use this old piece of shelf board. It's because this is going in an antique store. I know all of us are very intelligent buyers and we're not going to be fooled by simple little things, but if it looks old, it works better in an antique store. And I have to admit, I'm a child of the 50s, and I grew up in the 60s when distressed pallet wood was in its original hippie origins and everybody was making recycled stuff not because it was good for the environment it was because that's what everybody had it was free and easy to find and then we came up with the distressed stuff and everybody coated with polyurethane and epoxy had a set of living room furniture that was made that way so to me this looks pretty darn good white spots showing. Nothing wrecks an idea of distressed wood more than having some part of it that doesn't look distressed. Set it up in the air, let some air in underneath there to dry out the surface. And in about four hours we'll have a chance to put another coat on. Put my brush back in the bottle. 
said this before, but it bears repeating. Boil linseed oil is reactive. If you let it cook off in a rag, somewhere where it can get oxygen, it will generate heat and spontaneously combust. By putting the rag in the can, it's never going to dry out. It's not going to set. I've said this before, but it bears repeating. Put the rag back in the jar. Now the reason for that is, uh, boiled linseed oil uh, reacts with oxygen and generates a lot of heat as it's cooking off. If I left that rag out, it's a good chance that it would spontaneously combust. But by putting it back into the jar, it doesn't dry out. So there's no chance for it to oxidize, and it just stays in the jar. Next time I need it, I got a rag. And this pair of tongs was an old pair of salad tongs that uh, were donated by my wife. Well, I think I've got a saw till pretty much done. It's going to take another coat of blow, of course, but there's no need to go through that again. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to put this saw till on the wall over the workbench. This is going to go down to Burgess Antiques and be part of the display for the saw sharpening business. Yes, I'm going to have Burgess Antiques be a drop-off point. You're going to be able to go down to Burgess Antiques, drop off your saw, fill out a card, then I'll come down about once a week and check and see what the stock is. Sharpen all the saws that I pick up, bring them back, and I'll call you and tell you that your saw is ready to go. Right now I don't have any plans for a mail-in operation. I'm going to get word of mouth and have a foot traffic deal for Burgess. And later on we may see if I can do worldwide saw sharpening, but that's going to take a little bit of doing. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.